like many people, I did not get my diagnosis because I felt alone or um, anything else. I went for my normal mammogram and every year they would tell me you have to come back and we see something. And so this particular year, last year I went and they said, uh, we see something, you have to come back. I didn't think anything about it. I was like, well, I go through this every year. What's the big deal? And all of a sudden, COVID hit. And they said, oh, we can't do any, what they called unnecessary uh, treatment. So one of that was mammograms for a little while because of COVID. And I had to wait like six months. During that six months, I had different symptoms. And I think people need to know what they are so that you can be aware. I felt really nauseous. I was tired a lot. I had a lot of like itching inside. And I went hiking with a bunch of friends because I think I'm still 20, which I'm not. <laughs> and we went hiking, and it was a five mile hike, which is not unusual for me. And in that hike, I was there for about a mile and I collapsed. And I couldn't get up, I couldn't walk, I couldn't do anything, and I was just, I was beyond exhausted. So I thought, oh, I'm just dieting too much because I'm always on the diet. And I probably just didn't have enough energy. So I got home, when I got home, I called my doctor and she said, you know, just to be sure, let's just do your second mammogram. It had been six months at this time. And at that point, she said it had grown exponentially and it had spread. And she was sure it was cancer. So they sent me right down to do a biopsy. And two days later, the biopsy came back. My doctor called me in and said, um, you have cancer. Sorry, a little emotional. When you hear those words, it's really scary. And they, I, my main doctor, she was my general doctor, was like, listen, you're probably gonna lose your, you're gonna go through chemo and radiation, you're probably gonna lose your hair, you're probably gonna lose your breasts, you're, you know, we don't know how treatable this is. And I just sat there thinking, what in the world? How am I going to tell my family I'm going to die? And you know, all of these things. Uh, so I got home and I thought, I'm not going to tell them anything until I get to the surgeon. I had to wait a couple of weeks. And I had my meeting with my surgeon. And my surgeon said, well, your doctor's an idiot. <laughs> because you're going to have a hard year. And then you're going to have a really great life. And that's exactly what's happened. I, end up having to have chemo and radiation, and I did lose all my hair, and it's in the process of growing back, and I went through five days a week for five weeks of radiation, and I had three surgeries, four of you count reconstruction, and it was all not fun, but it was all doable. And then it's been a year and a half, and I just in September had my last mammogram, and I'm still cancer free, and I... <laughs> Thank you for taking the time to listen to me. And 